Hi, I'm Emily Laidlaw of Your Tutoring Solutions, and I'm so excited to release the updated Blending app. Now, I've used my Blending app for years and years, and as I've learned more about uh, using Google Sheets and the various crazy formulas uh, that are available, I've made it run a little smoother and a little faster, and I've made it so it can run without macros or without that app script that you have to copy. So let's take a look at it. I, I hope you'll be as excited with this as I am. The blending app is a replacement for a blending board. And I've used blending apps for, you know, what I've made for years, and now this is better. But the idea is to practice blending, putting sounds together smoothly. And I'm a big proponent for continuous blending. And um, I hope you'll see how easy we can uh, instruct continuous blending using my blending app. In Google Sheets, if you, I'm in full screen here. If you want to see more of it, you would hit this button and you can see the whole uh, menu. But I generally stick that up out of the way so I don't have to look at all of that. And down at the bottom, can you see this way down here at the bottom, the three little lines? That one is the all sheets. That's like the table of contents. So you can see all the sheets that are available. And there's a lot in here. I think I have uh, more than 15 here of various ways you can do your blending. And it's all customizable how you want to use it. So this is the for CVC. When I go start with CVC, according to the research that came out in 2020 with Dr. Gonzalez Frey and Dr. Airy, Continuous blending, what they called connected phonation, starting with continuance, is much more effective at teaching students to blend sounds together. So this is what I've used for years, and um, the research validates, and, and it's something we can all make use of. So to start with continuous blending, I like to start with the continuance. So my first sheet here has continuance only in the first space here of a CVC, and then the vowel, and then I hide the last sound. I don't open up the last sound until we've put these together. And so I'll tell the student, well, you see this one, you know the sound, and you'll see this one, you know the sound, and we stick it together and say vowel. And as soon as they're putting the sounds together, I open up the third space, and we just drop on that last consonant. The, the premise of the blending app is that Underneath, these are the letters that are being blended. And I know you can't see them all, but I have the continuance here. I have the vowels and I have uh, other consonants at the end. And then below that, I have a list of all of the possibilities, just as a reminder. But you can customize this. You can say, well, I haven't introduced a V. Let me get rid of it. And... Uh, my student has a lot of difficulty with the R's. I don't want to work with the R yet. Good. And I haven't introduced B's and D's because they're just, my student can't do that, or an X. You can delete those, get them out of here, and the program will now remove that from what is randomized. So now, as you can see, I don't have those letters in there. Or if you only, if you haven't introduced all your, con uh, all your vowels, you can just including here the ones you have. Let's say we've just introduced the A and the O. The others aren't here. Boom. Now we'll only have those. Okay, we go through. And can you see how fast this is? This is the exciting thing for me. It happens very, very quickly like this. And then as soon as my student has it blended, mat, mat, n, man. Man, oh, random, this is the thing with random, is random means that you can have a repeat. It also means that you may have something inappropriate show up. So if I have certain combinations that come up in the first two spots, I just hit this again. I don't even risk that we might have missed the word fun, but I'm not going to risk in, without knowing what the third letter is. We have enough other things we can blend. So you just have to be aware. So mock, and we blend with this, starting with the continuance. Now I have another sheet down here that has the stop consonants at the beginning and does the same thing. So if your student is starting to put together the sounds 
uh, in their head. So what I do is I instruct students, you see it, and starting with the continuance, you're going to say it continuously and drop it on. But then we get to where we can do stop consonants and we say, well, you see this one? Good, you know that sound? Okay, you don't have to say it. And you see this and you know that sound? Great, you don't have to say it. Let's put it together. Tem, jux, dax. And again, all of these can be customized. Now, I have, that's using uh, where the third sound is revealed um, with stop consonants, but I have continuance where you can change just one at a time. So if you want to do it like a change and you would say neb, nub, num, mum, mem, and you can change one letter at a time. So this one is CVCs with continuance. This one is CVCs with all consonants. And then I have a CVC that's combined and includes everything. But again, with all of these, you can adjust what gets, what gets randomized in here. Now, if you want to change any formatting here, that's easy. You can select these columns, change the size of the formatting, the column width. You can take this one and adjust the size. Let's make this bigger. You can take the cell that has the letters in it and you can adjust the font size. It's like, okay, let's make that into 200 there and let's change it from comic sans to quicksand or to you know goodness knows Arial or <laughs> anything else so once my students are going i might start off with lexend or uh, comic sans but i will very quickly then go to introduce other fonts that they might see you know new times roman what what printed books look like so we want to get that flexibility going here so change the change the font. All right. Um, I also have then with CVCCs and with continuous blending, adding on another consonant at the end is no problem at all um, because I don't teach blends. I just you put sounds on and it's super easy. Even with the stop consonants here, we would say ya and just add on another. And for most of these, I have a mask here that you can cover and reveal. So if a student has any difficulty at all, we'll just say, okay, remember we're going yopt, yopt, and yikt. And so I find that CVCCs flow very, very easily with continuous blending off of CVCs. And then CCVCs with the consonant cluster at the beginning. And this also has a mask that you can do. I don't let them do sk, ah. I would say, okay, you see it, ready, blend it together, scoff, and, but you can get them to uh, ignore this last one, get their brain focused on blending these together in their head, scoff, and then dropping on the last sound. So I have the CCVCs. I have a sheet that has CVCs with extra practice for the BDPQ. And I have this arrow here. And I teach my students, if you bump into a line, make your mouth a line. And this one would be the P. OK, you got that? So we would read it, Pam. And here, if you bump into a line, make your mouth into a line, bull. But here, uh-oh, what do we bump into? We bump into the circle, open your mouth docs. And so this gives extra practice with the BDPQs. I have extra practice with C's and G's once you introduce the soft sounds. And then I have CCVCCs. So including digraphs, um, clusters and digraphs. So we have this. And then I have R controlled. I have vowel teams, and here with vowel teams, the vowel teams, there are so many vowel teams here, but I have this many down here that you can choose from. But I might just practice one that we're working on and then one or two others, so the most recent ones. So I, I don't think I ever do more than four, but you know I might have 
the the newest one that we're working on and get rid of this and this one and this we're only going to work with these two today oh i might throw in an ai because because we did that two weeks ago and we're working with this so then when i hit change only those will be included in here okay and if i want one file team to come up many more times than the other one i'll just put it in more times so i have three of the eas one ee one ai one yeah so let's look here. So this now will come up more often. And when I introduce my vowel teams, if I've introduced all three sounds, I'm going to have my students blend all three, just promoting that set for variability right at the beginning or practicing what you need to do to blend quickly interchanging sounds so that you can use set for variability as you're reading and say, well, which one is it? Okay, so I want, I'll introduce and say, Okay, we have three possible sounds, E, E, and A. Let's try all three. And they would say, Lees, Les, Lays. And so that they get very quick at it. We just do it for a couple of minutes. And then when they're reading and they get to an E, A, and they're not sure, sure which to use, they just go, read, read, read. Oh, uh, it's read. And figure it out very quickly which one fits in the context as they're reading. So vowel teams are here. I have silent E. Now in silent E, I've got this here so that you can just use it as a reminder of that, or you can take it away if you don't need it. Here. And you can go through these. And with silent E's, I introduce, you know, ignoring the vowel. Okay, remember the E's changing the sound of this vowel. It's reflecting the long sound, so we use that pose. And then I have a column that interchanges silent E's and uh, the short vowels CVCs. So sometimes it comes up with an E and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And again, you can change it so that you reflect only those letters that you have already taught. Okay. I have open syllables. I have open and closed mixed. I have all of them, all 8 million possibilities here all together. So uh, I use this for my students and I don't do it a lot, but you know, blending drill, we're just practicing the skill of putting sounds together quickly. So that skill becomes automatic. I hope you find that helpful and I hope you'll like the update that I have here so that such that the the button is no longer a macro. It doesn't have to run through Google Apps Script. You don't have to authorize anything. And it happens with lightning speed. So here we go. We can just go super fast um, and get through as fast as my students can blend. We're not wasting time. We're on to the next word. So I hope that's helpful. And please let me know what you think of the new edition.